What's going on college algebras? This is Mr. C here and in this video I'm going to show you how to solve the following radical equation algebraically. I'll also include another video on how you can uh, solve this graphically using the graphing calculator. Alright, so let's begin. I'm just going to copy down that equation over here. Square root of x plus 7 equals x plus 1. You'll notice that the square root expression is isolated on the left which means that we are free and clear to go ahead and raise both sides to a power equal to the index, which in this case is 2. By the way, if that were a cube root instead of a square root, you would raise each side to a power of 3. Alright, so now we have the square root of x plus 7 being squared. What's going to happen is the square root symbol and power of 2 will cancel out, leaving us left over with just the inside part of it, x plus 7. On the right-hand side, what you'll have to do is foil out two factors of x plus 1. Alright, so let's keep x plus 7 on the left. And on the right, we'll go ahead and foil out x plus 1 times x plus 1, giving us x squared plus 2x plus 1. So as you can see, by eliminating the radical, we now have a quadratic equation. What I would recommend doing here is setting the quadratic equation to 0. And the way to do that is to maybe go ahead and subtract x from each side. And while you're at it, let's go ahead and subtract 7 from each side as well. That's going to give us 0 on the left. And on the right, x squared plus x minus 6. So now that we have the quadratic equation written in this way, if we can factor the expression on the right-hand side, that's going to make life a lot easier for us. And you'll see why. All right, the right-hand side actually does factor, and it factors as x plus 3 times x minus 2. Now, since the left-hand side is the number 0 and the right-hand side is completely factored, the zero product property tells us that we can set each factor equal to 0 and continue solving for x. So let's do that. x plus 3 equals 0, or oops, x minus 2 equals 0. All right, so we get x equals negative 3 from that first equation, and x equals positive 2 from that second equation. Now, because we are solving a radical equation and the index is even, and we're getting more than one answer here, there's a good chance that one of these is extraneous, meaning that it's a solution uh, that we get as a byproduct of our by-hand algebra, but it actually doesn't work in the original equation. Um, so the old school way of checking to see whether or not these are extraneous is to take each value individually and plug it back into the original equation. Now the equation that you would plug each of these into has to be the original, meaning you'd have to plug them into this to see whether or not your answer is extraneous. All right, but we have the technology, that is we have the graphing calculator, and as you're going to see in my next video, uh, the graphing calculator will tell us just exactly which of these two numbers is the actual solution. All right, so I look forward to seeing you in that video. If you have any questions about this one, feel free to reach out to me. Otherwise, thank you for watching.